We're talking about words, yeah. we're, and we're talking about communication. I think it's important that everybody recognizes that we're not manipulating people to try to sell yes, them things. Yes, good point. So I, I think we have to say that. What we're doing is we're having a conversation, and customers want to buy. They don't want to be sold. They want to make good choices. So yeah. our job, if you will, is to give them good information, communicate well, put them in a position to make informed decisions, and so whatever considerations you, whether that's Blanton's or whether that's Whistlepig, yeah. right? The customer wants to really make that choice that's in their best interest. So when we're talking about words, a lot of technicians, a lot of folks will say, well, you're just teaching me how to manipulate people so that right. I can sell them stuff. That is not what brand experience is yeah. about. So right. and we need to be crystal clear. Very on that. crystal clear, yeah. Yeah, and I, I think that uh, and it's, it's very important, that distinction, you know, man manipulation versus influence, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Cialdini talks uh, about this a lot in his books on influence, mm -hmm. that manipulation is when you're driving someone to take action that is bad for them and good for you, right? Influence is when it's a mutual benefit. It's a huge distinction. It's very important. I'm glad that, I'm glad that you brought that up, you know? So we talk about these three steps. Oh, one last thing I wanted to mention, because you touched on it. The words have power. Mm -hmm. And it reminded me of, you know, kind of... Uh, Tom Hopkins had a, had a uh, master of the art of selling, right? And Tom Hopkins kind of has his, his fatal words or killer words oh, or whatever, yeah. right? Contract instead of agreement, right? Signature versus your authorization, you know, those types of things. And there are some words that we, we really want to avoid. 